Monday morning, guys, and you are not going to believe it. I have found the video that was for last week. I don't know how. It's one of those things, if you've been watching me on Instagram lately, I did an Instagram video about losing my glasses, and my glasses were actually on my shirt. So, I guess these are one of those moments, and I always believe that everything happens for a reason, so maybe this video today was meant for somebody who needs to be bold, and that's what we're going to do. I'm going directly in here with, and this is the Square Dilutions Art Journal, on um, which you can find the link to how to purchase it on Amazon in the description box below. And remember, anytime you use those links down there to buy anything, cat food, clothes, anything, um, your girl Tiff right here gets a little something something so that I can buy more art supplies. So now that that's out of the way, I'm going directly down with this very fun um, Happy Meal tissue paper that I got from one of you lovely people. And I used it a few weeks ago in the same three video, and it was laying close to my desk. And, well, guys, that's just how I operate. If it's close, yeah, well, it's a pretty good chance that's probably what's going to inspire. So, instead of me piddle paddling around with some paint first, I wanted to go in with this lovely um, marks that are on the tissue paper. And then I'm going directly in with... Is this a Neo Color 2? Yes, that was a Neo Color 2 in black. And then I'm working very quickly here, guys. This whole page took me like probably 12 minutes with drying time in between. So I'm really picking up the pace here, just grabbing whatever is close by and slapping it down. If you do that, it allows your brain not to be able to process what's it going to look like, but more like, um, I got to go. Like, let's roll with it. And... That is what I find one of the easiest ways to get out of your brain and into art is by just like letting go and not contemplating your next thought, but rather grab whatever's in front of you and just go with it. So I'm going in here. This is some um, white gesso that I am playing around with and needed a little pop of white. And I'm going in with some darker, and I believe this was the Payne's Gray, Lucas Payne's Gray. It's like one of the most deliciously awesome Payne's Grays I've ever used, and it's kind of my go-to. And so I'm just using the brayer here because you know I love a good dried up crusty brayer. <laughs> yep, that's me, the girl with the crusty supplies. And then I'm going to go in here with some more of the um, pink. And just, um, okay, so from like a perspective of, oh, what's the word? I don't know the word right now. I'm going to come back to that thought later because it's escaped my brain. That's how this week has been going. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, I'm not sure why not. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram because I have some really silly silliness that I post in my stories a lot and well I have recently accepted a new position within my company I'm leaving 17 years of retail and I'm going to be a trainer guys I love that I, I love the idea of being able to train and develop people and to push them to their full potential so I'm super stoked about that and now the question is why was I telling you that hmm this is, this is how I've been here recently. So I had to cram for the interview and all the things, right? We're going to talk about that while we're talking about letting this thing dry here. And so it was uh, slightly stressful because it's kind of out of my wheelhouse, right? And so it's like whenever your brain capacity is being taken up for like a big project or something like that, it's like everything else, like I couldn't. It's like I was having trouble thinking. I'm still having trouble thinking because it's hard to process after 17 years of your life that you are making a new move. But I'm super excited about it. And now I am adding a little yellow. 
not a ton, and I'm taking a silicone um, uh, scrapey tool. <laughs> it's such a technical term there, guys. Scrapey tool, a little doohickey, a little thingamabob, or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going in there, and actually it looks yellow on my computer, but I'm pretty sure that this is called margarita. So it's more like a, um, or citron, citron green, I don't know. Like I say, I filmed this like days, weeks ago and lost the freaking footage because that's how my life is. I'm a real person, guys. I'm a real person with a real job with real responsibilities. And, well, you know, life is that way sometimes. So, with that being said, I'm going in here with um, some more of that lovely Mark made um, tissue paper. And I'm just slapping it down wherever I feel the need to slap it down at. And I really, I hid some of the marks, but now I'm bringing them kind of back to the forefront because I wanted to be like a multi-layered approach here. So many technical things, yeah. Yep, yep, and y'all watch me. <laughs> anyway, anywho, let's see. So I'm just tearing off a little bit of this and a little bit of that on the tissue paper and just kind of randomly placing it all around the way of the page. And you know, about right here, if I remember correctly, is about the point where I thought, where in the world is this going? And that's kind of like my MO, like my life is, I don't know where it's going until I just know where it's going. And that was so weird. This is such a weird video. Sorry for the random rants of Tiffany today. Um, but I'm kind of digging in here with a... Um, that looks like uh, just a regular old watercolor pencil, maybe. I'm not sure what that is. But it's in a similar color, and I'm just making some scribbles because I'm really not sure what is happening right now. And then I'm going to go here with a little white. And then very shortly after the white went on, I realized it was such a very bold page that I wanted to kind of... Um, take and run with that and so I did and I'm about to show you what I do don't wet your pants when this happens guys don't wet your pants <laughs> what in the world all right I'm actually going to put the top on it that's impressive and so I leave and then I come back after it's all dried and I said I know what I want to do I'm going bold guys I'm going right down right up in that quadrant and I'm just going to use a silicone thing to take some of the um, Payne's gray or maybe that's black I'm not sure and I'm just going in willy-nilly here okay and I am going to scratch out be bold in this um, very dark spot that I created and I'm loving it and that, this page right here is about being bold in life, about being bold in our art journal, about taking chances. It's a scary thing to apply for a new job. It's, um, life is not easy and sometimes it's scary. But what we have that some people don't have is we have our, our little art community here. We also have our journaling friends that we can just go in and get support and love from. <clears throat> and I... Um, I just love all my journaling friends. So here you can see how the Be Bold is kind of colored because I dug through and it already had the dried acrylic on the bottom. So that is a fun technique that you can use. I hope that you really enjoyed this totally random cray cray video from your girl Tiff. Please make sure that you hit the subscribe button, click, do the thumbs up thing, leave me a comment, you know, let me know what's up guys. Thanks so much. I hope you go out and conquer this week and make sure you're bold anytime you have the opportunity. Until next time, toodaloo!